Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We have f of x plus 1 over x equals x raised to power 3 plus 1 over x power of 3. So we are interested to find f of 4. And I will be solving this problem in two different ways. And if you have any other ways of solving this, you can drop it in the comment box. Let's get into the first method. First is, the x here is not equals 0, to avoid having an undivine function. Then, for the first method, let's try and find x. Then, let's note that, suppose I let x plus 1 divided by x, which is the domain, to be equals 4 that we are looking for. Therefore, this becomes f of 4 equals x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And next, we are going to multiply both sides by x so that we can get the value of x. By multiplying through by x, we have x bracket x plus 1 divided by x equals 4 multiplied by x. So opening this parenthesis with x, x multiplied by x, that is x squared plus x multiplied by 1 over x, that is 1, equals 4 multiplied by x, that gives us 4x. In the next step, we are going to transfer this 4x to this side, and we have x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Then we look for the value of x in this quadratic equation. Let's look at the patterns. The a here equals to 1, which is the coefficient of x squared. b equals minus 4, coefficient of x, and c equals 1. By applying the general quadratic formula, we are going to have x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And by substituting all this in this formula, we are going to have minus b and minus 4. That is plus 4, then plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared. That gives us 16 minus 4 times a, that is 1. Then multiply by c, that is 1. Everything here gives us 4. Divided by 2 times 1, that is 2. And by trying to subtract 4 from 16, we are going to have 4 plus or minus square root of 12 divided by 2. But square root of 12 here, we can simplify square root of 12 as 4 multiplied by 3. And 4 multiplied by 3 in short form, we are going to separate this and we are going to have square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3. Where square root of 4 is given as 2, then multiply by 3. So therefore, the whole of this becomes 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 divided by 2. So therefore, we are going to have x equals 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 3 divided by 2. Factoring out 2 here, we have 2 bracket. 2 plus or minus square root of 3 divided by 2. And when 2 cancels 2, we have x equals 2 plus or minus square root of 3. So this is the value of x. But we have it as plus or minus. There is no problem with that. So either plus or minus, both will satisfy what we need. So let's try and reconsider. Let's say we have a plus b if I let this one to be raised to power of 3, let's say a raised to power 3 and b raised to power 3, this gives us a plus b raised to power 3 minus 3ab into bracket of a plus b. How does this formula relate to this? Yes, it's very important because what we are given at the other side is x raised to power 3 plus 1 over x raised to power of 3. If we try to compare this together, let's say a is x and b is 1 over x. We are going to have x plus 1 over x, then all raised to the power of 3, minus 
3 multiplied by a which is x multiplied by b1 over x everything gives us 1 into bracket of x plus 1 divided by x so therefore we are going to resubstitute now so we have we have to get 1 over x here what is 1 over x so to get 1 over x we just consider any of the x that we have suppose we have 1 divided by 2 plus root 3 so by looking for the sort form of this we multiply this by 2 minus root 3 and this is 2 minus root 3 so the result of this one it gives us 2 minus root 3 and if you try to check for 1 divided by 2 minus root 3 so this also gives us 2 plus root 3 so any of this that we use so it is fine therefore for x which gives us when x equals 2 plus root 3 1 over x gives us 2 minus root 3 so by trying to substitute it we have 2 plus root 3 then plus 2 minus root 3 all raised to the power of 2 minus 3 into bracket of applying the same thing here 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 you know root 3 cancel root 3 and we have 2 plus 2 that gives us 4 so when this also cancelled here we are going to have 2 plus 2 that is 4 and here is 4 raised to the power of 3 minus 3 times 4 that gives us 12 and the whole of this gives us 52 so this is the result of f of 4 our f of 4 here it gives us 52 and let's consider the second method of solving this let's see method 2 suppose i let t to be equals x plus 1 divided by x so here i need to get x keep plus 1 over x keep let's say i take the keep of both sides we are going to have t power of 3 equals x plus 1 over x then all raised to power of 3 so from here if i try to expand this out we are going to have t raised to power 3 equals this gives us x raised to power 3 by using the normal binomial expansion we get x power 3 plus 3x plus 3 over x then plus 1 over x cubed then let's say we factor out 3 here and we combine x cubed and 1 over x cubed together so here gives us x cubed plus 1 over x cubed in bracket then plus factoring out 3 we are going to have 1 x plus 1 over x so and everything here equals t raised to power of 3 but x plus 1 over x is given as t which you have let initially and transferring it here we are going to have x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals t cubed minus 3t so if this is what we have so let's try and note that for all t in this range of x plus 1 over x the value of uh, the value of absolute of t is always greater than or equals 2. So for this case, if we try and uh, resubstitute, then we are going to have f of t will be equals t cubed minus 3t. And changing this t to x and changing x to 4, we are going to have f of 4 equals 4 cubed minus 3 multiplied by 4. Then everything here gives us 52. I think this is more easier than the first one and the first one is also more easier than the second one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.